so you guys have ordered this finally been wanting to try it and I asked myself am I really gonna try it am I really gonna try it do I really need to try it do I really want to try it am I gonna try it so I did it <laughs> it's right here espresso I don't right there Caribico it's espresso pineapple coconut syrup and fresh whipped cream there it is but it smells so I don't like the smell like Menards it smells like essential oils but all it is is coconut and pineapple and coffee and whipped creams Oh, it must be whatever's on top of it, which I don't know what it is. Go ahead, Minara. I'm not gonna do it. Oh my god, you just spoil my appetite for the rest of the day. It's just the way it smells is all. Right here is fine. Wow. I'm trying to think what to say. <laughs> wow. I mean, you can taste the espresso, <laughs> and then there's that kind of cold fruit juice of pineapple and coconut, and then the stuff on top. Oh well, I tried it. It was interesting. There you go. Interesting. Wow, Amy's favorite word. Interesting. I mean, it's not bad. It's just so weird having espresso with juice, you know, as you can imagine. But I would definitely not, if I were to order it again, if I liked it, I wouldn't get the sprinkles on top of whatever we're at brunch again at the Cosmopolitan and it's the same menu. I guess it's just the brunch menu. Which is good because it was very delicious. I think we all got the exact same thing we got the other day at brunch. Did you get yeah. the same thing you got? You got the same thing you got? Well, actually, no, I didn't get waffles. Oh, okay. Well, I did. I got my Caesar salad and a piece of steak with an omelet. Mm. Here's my steak and is yours uh, rare, rare today? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Mine's medium, but it kind of looks more done than medium, doesn't it? Which is fine, because, I mean, I like mine really cooked, too. And my omelet, which is delicious, probably like it was the other day. Very vegetable-y. If you guys have been watching this whole entire vlog series, you know that I've had three cards. Three different cards. None have of which have ever worked. <laughs> to get into my cabin. Hers used to work, but it stopped working yesterday. yesterday yeah. And every time we go to the front desk, all I hear is people saying, my key doesn't work, my key doesn't work. Because Amy's next to her phone. I asked him that. But mine isn't. And then the one night I got my second card, I didn't, I kept it out because the desk, like here's the desk and here's our room. Didn't go anywhere near my phone. So I know that the phone could mess up your card. I've never had that happen before. In this case, I didn't even have it in next to my phone. Neither do you. Yours doesn't work. Dad's the only one that works. You'd think mine wouldn't work, but it does. <laughs> so Dad thinks that we're just not doing it right. So we're going to go to the room, and he's going to try my card and Minara's card, and he's going to see which phone, what card works. So we got back in our room, and the room steward was waiting outside. Something dirty in the mirror. Apparently, well, what did you do? Flip the card over, Dad? You know the do not disturb thing that you put on the door? He like flipped it. The ship, she turned it over. Right. Yeah, like like on Carnival, you know, it says like, you know, you're snoozing or cruising, that kind of thing. But apparently the side was the same. And the guy couldn't get in here, the room steward, while we were eating brunch. So he was waiting. But we told him, you know, we didn't need anything because, I mean, whatever. Except for towels. So he took the wet towels because we used them all up last night and brought new towels. And this is on the bed. Because we did go out of the country first, I mean, uh, most times, a lot of times, if a cruise is going to say Key West and Mexico, they'll go to Key West first and then Mexico. But this cruise went to Mexico and then Key West. So we had to go to Customs anytime we go out of the country, which means Customs comes on board the ship. And they divide it by times here. Pretty sure we're supposed to get there at eight in the morning. And I was planning on getting right off at eight because I actually rented a vehicle for the day because we have to like be done at three or four. But this says that our time is 10 o'clock, which would put us getting off, you know, probably by the time we went in line and come back, 10, 30, 11, which is, it's a couple of hours a day that I plan on having Key West. It says we ask you to follow the scheduled time mentioned above. What I'll do, what I did on the, um, what was that, Empress of the Seas, Minara? We were just down there, uh, some, in the lounge or something when it started and there was no line. Lady's like, come on through, and we're like, oh, okay, so we'll just go down there and check it out earlier. But uh, it'd be nice if we didn't have to wait till 10 o'clock. You have the card? I have mine. Okay, come on. We're gonna get card number four for me and three for Minara, because they don't work. That's what we're gonna go do right now. And ask them about the customs in the morning, because it would kind of really mess up the day having to wait two hours after we board to go do the customs to even start to get off the ship. 
And if we have to do that, then I probably won't rent the car after all because I need a whole full day. Dad's gonna shower and meet us in a little while. The line at the desk was really long right now, so we're going to the gift shops first. This way I can buy the postcards I need and then gonna start to close out my account because with the drink package, we don't buy anything else. So we're on deck five, which is where all the stores are. We looked around them yesterday. This is the, kind of almost the middle of the ship right here. Mm -hmm. There's the future cruise office and a bunch of stores. And then when you get to the middle of the ship, there's the coffee bar. And then if you go straight back here at the restaurants, that's all there is on deck five. I was gonna move the menu here, but I would cover up Gerard. <laughs> Dad teases her so much about him and other band people. So look, yeah. this is for our patrons. If you go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com, or click at the end of the video where it says sign up for bonus videos, it's where you, the viewer, can leave a tip anywhere from a dollar and up. There's different tiers we made, it's really fun. But if you were at $10 and up, which is a, um, that's the cruise ship, right? I think so. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the cruise ship. $10 and up, it's called the cruise, you're the cruise ship. We have pool noodles, which is a dollar, sailboats, which is five dollars, which if you do five dollars, you get to watch, it's when you get to watch the extra videos. They're not vlogs, they're just all kinds of stuff. <laughs> things that want to make it onto vlogs or whatever. <laughs> Funny things. Funny things, private, like personal things, extra things, bonus things, you know, not anything you'd be missing in a regular vlog. We don't keep that stuff out and we're not we're never gonna charge to watch our videos but anyway it all goes into you know the cost and everything of making cruise vlogs but anyway $10 and up are cruise ships and if you're $10 and up a month you get a postcard from every cruise we go on when you're a patron patron is what we call it during that month so this is March so all March patrons will get a postcard from this cruise that's why we have all these postcards and um then there's $25 a month, which is, is uh, private yachts. But you can read all about it on there. I'm such a regular here that she doesn't need my card. She just came over to see what I wanted. She knew my name. She knows my card number. She's been putting it in so much. I've drank more coffee than I've eaten on the ship. It's really good. Anyway, it's really fun. It really helps us a lot, and it helps us making our videos. And, and uh, it's, we'd like to give back with the fun of doing different things. So we're going to fill all these out now. It's be fun. Mm -hmm. Mail them international too, you guys. It doesn't matter if you're international, you still get postcards. I like the presentation here in the coffee bar. No matter what you order, they always have some kind of special cup, not just like a generic mug for everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the way they sit it, and it's always presented. That's what I like. It's always a presentation here. Look. Oh, look, the tea bag has a little leaf on it and it comes out of a little hole. So I got my fourth or fifth card. I don't know. Let's hope it works. She goes, it works again. I'm like, it never worked. <laughs> <laughs> like it never worked. I asked about going earlier to customs because we had told we rented a car and I can cancel it because I'm at sea and I think you have to get like a day's notice and I told him we'd be there around 8 30. She's saying we get there at 8 and our assigned time is at 10 tomorrow to see customs and so she'd ask find out if we could go earlier around 8 and leave a message on our phone so cross your fingers because I don't want to lose out on my cross car on money. Tongue. <laughs> tongue, toes, and fingers. <laughs> Eyes. <laughs> oh yeah. Legs, arms. Yeah, that'd be like playing Twister. <laughs> just want to look at the, the water again because I never get to see it because the bed's always out. Look at it's it. It's rough guys. today. It is. It got rough all of a sudden the more we get closer yeah, to Florida. I can feel the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can finally feel it, but it's not bad. No, I don't think bad. it is. Dad had gotten a patch from the doctor and he put one behind his ear because he gets seasick easily. So beautiful. I love being right here so we can see it. Look. Whoa, did you see that? I can just sit here and look out the window. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, the more closer we get to Florida, the more um, kind of wavy it's getting. He's cleaning the room. We just had to put our stuff in it and now we're leaving. This is tonight's dinner menu since we haven't been coming to dinner. I'm just going to show it to you guys so you'll know. I don't know if it's special for the Rock and Romance Cruise or if it's a kind of a regular menu for a celebrity. I'm not sure. Yeah. Because we have late dinner and we don't eat late dinner. <laughs> I love hearing all this music on the show. That's an Eagles song. Yeah, oh, okay. It must be a tribute to the Eagles. Look, we're gonna go look outside and we have to go to our show in like half an hour. They were good, they were just doing a cool song. Sure is nice out here. We're gonna have nice weather tomorrow.
it's weird it got really wavy and uh now it's not so wavy anymore it's like we went through a really rough patch i don't know oh it's so windy up here but it's nice look i want to show you guys this really nice tables they have they have like one of them on each side here there's no one up here right now they're all waiting line to go to concert or eating so they can go to the concert when they're done have you ever seen a cruise ship like this at 5 44 on a sea day <laughs> isn't that funny oh my God. it's because you know they have it divided in so the first half of the people watch a concert at 6 30 and the other half eat and then they switch out and so everybody's eating or waiting in line to watch the orchestra look they have an elevator lift to go up here isn't that neat the big x ah! almost oh, fell over backwards oh, it's windy not diet this would have fall over backwards yeah, on the baby, stairs I, I had nothing to drink thank you Actually, I had a bunch of coffee earlier, but that was it. <laughs> oh, it's a sport deck. Look, there's the ball court. Hey, There you go. It's kind of weird the banister is missing off of this, isn't it? It's been like this the whole time. That's where they fall off. Look at how weird that looks, missing its banister. There's so many things I've seen on the ship that needs fixed. I'm like, just, wow. Wow, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> wow. We're back in the theater, night four. Tonight is ELO, and uh, we're just waiting. It starts in about 10 minutes. I ordered a Coke. I ordered a Coke, and guess what she brought me? Everybody is gifted. <laughs> just give me Diet Coke, because I'm fat. Don't even ask. It's usually the skinny people who are Diet Coke, so they don't get fat, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna drink a Coke. I'm gonna drink a Coke, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Do I look like I drink Diet Coke? <laughs> Well, I can't we're, wait we're to we're see being in a you promo on shoot. 70s Rock and Romance Cruise. 2018. Nice, so nice. So now we're going to get it all together. You ready, ready? All right, we're going to get it all together. Here we go. Ready, Menar? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We've had a blast with you. We loved having you on the 2017 70s Rock and Romance Cruise. And we can't wait to see you on the Rock and Romance Cruise. 2018. Let's go one more thing. One more big one, and this time you're gonna go crazy after you say 2018 like the 17 people in the middle did. <laughs> Stand up and Where's jump your up down. Down <laughs> The hell kind of cruise you think this is? Carnival? Yeah. <laughs> I found it. Come on, it man. I earn. You gotta see Peter Frampton last night. Discount cruise. All right, one more time. Here we go. There's always one in the back. There's always what one. Year? What year? 2018. Thank you, sir. You're saying 2018. 70s were hard, weren't they, brother? Here we go. Hey, everybody, and thanks for being with us. We have loved having you on the 2017 70s Rock and Romance Cruise, and we can't wait to see you next year on the 70s Rock and Romance Cruise. You guys are good. You guys I are know, good. right? Please welcome the one and only Barry Williams. Did he say boo? Yeah. Why? I don't like him at all. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. You are a sharp dressed man. This is. It's disco night. Yeah. After the concert. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah. Come on, yeah. don't bring me down. I am 
was amazing. Which one? Those, the, 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 the orchestra. Well, I don't know. Between them and Frampton, they're about... No, I enjoyed this more. I enjoyed Frampton no. a lot. Frampton was, was good because he was solo. Yes, he was. But, but this I, was good because it's an orchestra. Yeah, but I didn't know that all the, that they sang I all those songs. They were much better than Little River. Nara, what would you think? 14-year-old. I'm not, I'm not into like 70s music, you know, it's not my style. Okay, I'm ready to go see Frampton. <laughs> But they were really, 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 really good. They let the, I enjoyed uh, that. They let the others off where they sing real music. Excuse me, that was amazing. Yeah. I didn't know they sang all those cool songs. You know, America didn't play songs people knew and they didn't clap. I didn't know hardly any of their songs. I didn't like America. This, this group, almost everyone let me in. operated. Oh, and they were so happy and fun and yeah. into it, weren't they? Yeah. America was kind of tired oh, and boring. Oh my God, boring. that hat. No way! Dad, look! They were horse. Look, every night there's a gift. <laughs> Give those back. Don't bring me yeah, down. No. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. Now, look here, you guys. <laughs> this is a charter cruise. It's the... Rock and Romance Cruise, baby! Oh, there you go. Still says it. Ha ha. I have slight temporary hearing damage. Anyway, during the day, there isn't the same things that they have on a regular Celebrity Summit Cruise. But during the night, you can always look forward to that awesome concert. And I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Uh, there's a lot of charter cruises out there where they have rock bands and stuff. But this one was the inaugural one of these. And they're already selling tickets for 2018. I'm sorry, I'm singing. I know I am too. And the way it was set out, isn't it so cool that you get to see that whole good concert every night by huh? awesome people? Like, hey! <laughs> I didn't care for the first two at all. I liked Little River I was Band. Depressed. Didn't you? No, not I compared did. to these. The only one I didn't care for when I was actually bored it was America. Sorry. Ew. I think they were tired or something. Mm -mm. But this one was super. They were hoarse. I'm gonna go buy some of those songs on my iTunes. No, the, when you play music, down. a lot of music, you're not so hoarse. Mm -hmm. Now, last mm -hmm. night was the best sounding because they kind of had it mixed. Yeah. The instrumentals it's are true. Too loud. Peter Frampton. Peter frickin' Frampton was so cool. The He's guys the who introduced show. him last night on the stage, he said, Welcome, Peter! Effing, he said the word, Frampton. The word. And so all day I've been hearing people. Oh my god, did you hear they said the F word when they introduced him? I, I didn't have to hear those words unless I was an 18 plus comedy. I mean, it was just a word. And they just said Peter F. Frampton. So I've been hearing this. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. They were excited. Sorry, that, a lot of people sorry did. that I hurt your poor virgin ears. <laughs> anyway, we're having a great time in this don't cruise. Don't let me down. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! <laughs> Dad couldn't even fall asleep last night because he was sitting in his wow. head. So was I. I am right I now. I'm like time wired up. No, I've seen a lot of people on this cruise ship, and the only people that I would actually like listen to off the cruise I'm gonna ship. buy some of those singles because they are good. No, I forgot how good they are. Frampton and ELO. Yeah, Peter Frampton he had some good That's songs. The best no, you gotta hear them. Yeah. They're much better I'm on, really on disc because they mix them and the music's not so loud. They were amazing you here. Hear more voice. I like more loud music. Yeah, especially uh, the old man no, that's been there hey, forever Daddy, and writes all their music. They were the most. Or... Remember, you said that one guy looked like he was gonna croak last night. <laughs> Did I say, say that? that? This is an orchestra. People, they were like full okay. of energy. They were bouncing around. Oh my God, one guy. Amazing what a <laughs> will do, isn't it? On a real orchestra. Oh, the violin. It was so cold. Anyway, right. we're going on and on about it. Times. He had to hold, like, Although there might not be a lot of things to do during Remember? the day for us on the ship. There's great concerts at night, and that's why we went on this cruise. <laughs> is because Dad, for Dad. I'm gonna punch. We went on this cruise head. for Dad. Who are you punching in the head? Gerard. Them freak. Oh my god. And the guy next to me goes. Why? <laughs> That's it. You hear him? <laughs> Bravo! Ole! <laughs> Man, Dad's so hype. I wow. know. Woo! <laughs> hey, it might be my last thrill of my life. You never know. <laughs> Play ball. Next year, next year, bring my urn with you. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> You're going next time. <laughs> Smoke me. <laughs> oh my god. You know they've done that yeah. before. Oh man! Dad, no, wait, wait, wait! Wait, no. there you go. You're really hip. You got all. There animals. you go. Walk around no, like you're that. Not them. <laughs> 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 Call me dopey. <laughs> wait, Dad. Dad, oh let me get a picture. Hey, wait, is this like dopey? <laughs> 
Ooh, Snow White so likes me best. <laughs> I'm bigger than all the rest. <laughs> oh we got the terrifying <laughs> photos in my phone now. Uh, oh, ah, I have a chicken. Wow. If I had an ass. Wow. Hey, if I had an ass, I'd wear these, but I don't. <laughs> oh my god. Tonight, all of us gold card holders got to watch the orchestra, and tomorrow night, the silver card holders get to watch it. Tomorrow night, Dad, we're watching Christopher Cross. I don't know who that is. He looks young. He doesn't look like he's from the 70s. I would switch. Dad. What? Who's Christopher Cross? He doesn't look like he's from the 70s. He looks young. Look, I, it's been 40, 50 years. I that dude remember. ain't from the 70s. Christopher Cross good. I just can't remember the music anymore. It's been 50 years. Kind of some nurse that she wants to switch her cards and go watch the thing I again. Remember is <laughs> I would. I know. <laughs> Did you say the river man? No, them again. Okay, I have to say. Wings yeah, we love Queen. Away. Everybody in our family.